Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we've got something which doesn't even look like it's in the glass right now, but that's the Douglas Lang Epicurean from their Remarkable Regional Malts selection. I've covered a few of these things already. Uh, they've got stuff like the Timorous Beastie, the Scallywag, the Big P, the Rock Oyster, and the Goldron. So they all cover different regions in Scotland. This is the Epicurean, which is the Lowland Malts, uh, the Timorous Beasties Highlands, the Scallywag is the Speyside, the Big P is Isla, the Rock Oyster is the Islands, and the Goldrons is Campbelltowns. So I haven't covered the Goldrons yet, but the rest of them I have. I'll pop up a few links up here, but you can check them out on my channel if you want to see what the other ones are like. This one, as I said, is very pale. I'm enjoying this in my uh, Whiskey Wings glass. I think you can just about see a logo there. So go and check out Mike on Whiskey Wings on Instagram, Twitter, and he's got a WordPress as well. Definitely go and check him out. But um, it's very, very pale. So these things are presented natural color, non-chill filtered, and they're generally like affordable blended malts, okay? So it's uh, £35 for this one, so it's probably one of the cheapest ones in their range. But it's presented at 42 point, but it's presented at 46.2%, which is a pretty good ABV. Because it's natural coloured, they haven't added anything to it, but it's come through really quite pale. Uh, I've only got a little dribble left as well, so it did look like nothing was in the glass, but I'm sure you can see that now, even with the ring light reflecting on that. But I don't think that we should take that away from it, but let's have a, a little nose on it and see what it's like. Now, I, I have read some some uh, some good reviews of it i've read some not so favorable reviews of it so i'm gonna see what i think of it and uh, you know, see if it's really worth the money oh that, no, the nose is very different to the stuff i've been covering recently oh because it's a lowlands it's it's got a very distinctive lowland flavor i don't cover many lowlands on the on the channel but there's only really kind of like six or seven active currently releasing whiskey distilleries in the Lowlands. There's a lot more being built, a lot more that are have currently laid down casks and are nearly putting stuff out, but there's not many to choose from to pick this one out. Now, it's not peated at all, but it's very herbal, very grassy, but it's also sweet as well. It's like sweet apples are in there. Very interesting nose, very interesting. I've heard some people say it's very chemically, but I don't really get that. It's it's very sweet for me on the nose, and I, I quite like that. Now, I know that sweetness puts a lot of people off in their whiskey. They're not into the kind of sweet drams, but if you're a fan of the show, you might know that I quite like my sweeter whiskey. So, so far, it's ticking boxes. Let's try on the palate. Mm. Wow, it's got a, a huge flavour to it massively spicy big hit of spice in your face it's quite sweet still but it's kind of peppery it's a little bit malty as well so it's a it's got that flavor of if you've ever been to a distillery you'll know what i mean when you walk into the actual still room and you can kind of smell it in the air that kind of alcohol like a malty smell and you're kind of getting that on the flavor profile instead of the nose which is strange but especially on the back end as well it's it's an interesting dram, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, I quite like it, but I can understand why people don't. Mm. I mean, for me, it's, it's kind of strange because the nose suggests it's very gentle, but it really isn't on the palate. So it's hard to recommend if you want something nice and gentle to drink of an evening. So if you look at Lowlands, a, good, a great example is Ockentoshan triple distilled so the liquid tends to be very light and floral. I'm not convinced that this is coming from Ockentoshan at all, probably more like Gervin and stuff like that, maybe Glinkenshi, I'm not, I'm not sure to be honest, I'm not sure. But it's interesting enough and I think at the price point it's £34 which isn't in the realms of ridiculously expensive, probably worth a go but uh, I have to agree especially with Malt Review uh, although they said they gave it a really big slating, but um, I have to agree with their final statement, which is if you're gonna buy it, then you should probably try it first. Whereas the other ones, 
are very indicative of their regions. So if you like Speyside whiskey generally, then you're probably going to like the Speyside Remarkable Regional Malt. And if you like Eilish, you're probably going to like that blend as well. This one, however, it I, I couldn't say that the Lowlands are, although distinctive, they different they're different from each other quite a lot. So I would have to say you definitely want to try this one before you buy it.